Today we're going to be installing a digital carbon fiber steering wheel on a C7 from Extreme Online Store. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Scott and today I'm going to be showing you the newest release for Extreme Online Store and that's a digital carbon fiber steering wheel for the C7. Now um, I've got both steering wheels here. I want you to be able to have you be able to see the difference here. This is the factory steering wheel that we pulled out of the car and I'm going to be showing you how we, we do all that. We're going to show you how it's wired and the whole shoot and match from step to step. But I wanted to be able to have you see the difference, okay? I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to set this one down. Uh, it's a nice steering wheel, but it's not as fancy as this one, that's for sure. Okay, so now, um, this one has carbon fiber here at the bottom, up at the top, here in the thumb lays, and it has the uh, red stitching in it. It just looks wonderful. It's a little bit thicker, so you can. it's a lot more easy to grab and hold on to, especially with the thumb grips. Um, so it just, it, it looks good, it feels good in your hand, uh, it really does. Um, this display is great. Uh, even though I have a 3LT car, I still utilize this all the time. And I can tell you what guys, those of you that have a 1LT and you don't have heads up display, this is going to be the thing for you. This is going to transform you back to having all of that information right there, right in eyesight. Okay, so you're not having to look down at the gauges. This displays the, your your shift pattern or your shift lights right here on each side, and it also has your you can set it to display your RPMs or your speed, and um, it also like fuel fuel mileage, the actual amount of fuel you have. It also has lap timers and things like that. So those of you that are check, you know, testing yourself on your, you know, zero to sixties, you know, and quarter miles and stuff like that, you'll have that built right in. So anyway, um, it's a very simple installation, just takes a little bit of time and we're going to go through it. We're going to show you how it's done. Um, and I believe it's a 50 torques that you're going to have to have. Besides that, it's not that much, but like I said, there's only, there's three wires here. We're only going to utilize two of them and I'm going to show you how that's done here in the video. So sit back and relax and we'll show you how it's done. You're going to need a 10 millimeter socket to be able to remove the battery cable to make sure that you don't deploy the airbag accidentally when you're removing the, uh, the airbag out of the steering wheel. So um, those of you that have a C7, if you don't already know, the battery is located here back in the back of the trunk. And you're just gonna go ahead and you're gonna take the negative battery cable loose. Okay, just like so. And then just pull, pull your terminal off. It's like so. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna use the cover here to just prop the cable up so it's not going to make an accidental connection to the battery, okay? So now we can move up to the front of the car. All right, guys, we're here in the car, and like I said, we've got our, our tool here. Like I said, you can use an Allen wrench, um, and you're going to be going through the, uh, the hole here. And let's see if I can find it here. So it's right here where my finger is. You can see right there. So we're going to go through. So... And we're going to push in and you're going to feel pressure and you're going to be able to push in like that and you're going to be able to pull the airbag itself out a little bit okay just like that and then you're going to be able to come over to the other side and you're going to do the exact same thing Now, they, it might fight you going back and forth here, and you'll have to do this a few times to be able to get it, get it free. But it will eventually come free, just like that. Okay? Then at that point, you can go ahead and you can pull the airbag out, just like this. All right, now that we have this loose here, we're going to go ahead and we're just going to go ahead and pull this loose. Now, I'm going to try to pull this around here so, so the camera can see it. I'm not exactly sure. Um, See if we can get that over there like that. Can you see that, John? 
Yeah. Okay. All right. So now what we have is we've got the two little orange tabs here that are the locks that lock the, the airbag connection in. So you can take a little hook here and you can pry those up. Just like that. You can do the same thing on this side. Now, if you got some real strong fingernails, then you probably could do that, but I don't. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pull those up like that, and then you can pull those free. Like that, okay. That releases it all the way around, but there's also one other connection right here inside the steering wheel and you can just push push in like that and it'll come free and pushing it is pushing it right down on this piece so that fits in there like that you're just pushing down on this very top part here then at that point you can go ahead and you can move take the airbag out and get it out of your way okay so now this is what i was talking about being able to use the nylon pry tool you don't want to use a screwdriver in here um, because this will end up you know, you'll end up scarring the um, the leather. Okay, so you can just get it right back in there like so. Okay, and you can just pry it free. Now this actually has, you can pull this loose with your hands too. You don't even have to use the pry tool because this just pops, pops out like so. Okay, just like this. Okay, and then there are... There are connectors here that you can pinch right here. I don't know if you can see that or not. Now let's see. We can get ourselves a little more gain room here by we can release these these pins right here. Just like that. Okay, you can do the same thing on this side. Now we can be able to get in here just a little bit better and we can see our plugs. There's a pin right there. You can see that with your thumb. And you can pull it, let's see, pull it out. Try to get my hands out of your way so you can see. And it's a tight fit. Just take your time. Use a little bit of finesse. You'll be fine. Okay, so now we've got one open. So now we can do the other side. And you can see exactly what I was doing on the other side. You can see the pin right here. I'm just going to push down with our finger. So now that one is free. So we can set that off to the side. Okay, so now what that reveals is we've got we've got a little bit of a harness here that we've got to take loose. Okay. So this right here, there's another push pin right here. Just like that, just pushes up. Okay. And this just comes out. Just like that. Okay. All right. So now, at that point, we've got this out of the way. And what that leaves us is with our T50 Torx. So we've got, we've got our, our ratchet here. Now, we very well may need a, a breaker bar. So let's go ahead and let's use that first. And then we can use the ratchet to be able to to break it, to run it after we break it free. Now what you want to make sure is you can notice that we have the top off the car so it makes it a little bit easier for me to not hit anything. And you're going to want to go ahead and just bust it free like so. Okay. And then once you do that, then you can go ahead and you can put your ratchet on there and you can go ahead and ratchet it off. Now, I have seen these, guys. I'm going to warn you that I've seen these go a little bit tighter. 
Um, and so you just want to be careful. Um, you may need a, uh, uh, may need like a power, like impact kind of thing to be able to break this bolt free. Um, but just be aware. Okay, you can take this bolt off, just like that. And then you should be able to remove the steering wheel. And now you can bring your airbag wires right through. Okay, just like that. So now, at that point, we are pretty much done in here. All we have to do, we're going to go back to the bench now, and we're going to take our steering wheel over there, and we're going to take the paddle shifters off and transfer them from this steering wheel over also the, uh, you know, the uh, speaker controls as well as um, your, your uh, channel selectors over here, and the paddle shifters will transfer those onto the new steering wheel. Okay. And then at that point, uh, we're also going to be tying into our wire harness. So we'll be pulling this wire harness out of the steering wheel, transferring it in, and we'll be tying our power for our steering wheel into our harness here. You guys, one other thing before we go and start wiring things up, I just want to bring this to your attention, that these are color-coded. It's yellow, the yellow connector to the yellow and blue to blue, so you can't get these confused, so don't worry about that, okay? We're gonna jump over and uh, wire up the new steering wheel now. All right, guys, we've got our steering wheel over here at the bench, and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna to start to take all the assembly apart to be able to transfer it over to the new steering wheel. So what we're gonna do here is um, we're gonna go ahead and start taking the plugs apart. And uh, so you're just gonna use a pick here to be able to pick right into this little, this little lever that's right there. And we'll be able to pull Pull this, let me see if I can get my fingers in the out of the way so you can see it. I'm going to use a pick right there. That will release this plug. Okay. And we're going to do the same thing right here. That releases that one. Okay. And then we're going to take a pair of needle nose pliers. Just so we don't mess up these wires, you probably could pull it out, but I don't want to take the chance of pulling it, putting any strain on the wires. So we're going to pull this plug. It's just sitting inside this little rubber tube here. It's just sitting in there like that. So we're going to pull that out. You can see that just sits in there. Okay. Then at that point, here's where our cutters come into play. We've got a wire tie that's buried right down there. Now you want to be careful not to cut the wires, but just clip the wire tie. So be careful. Just like that. Alright. And then this wire harness comes right out. Just like that. Okay. Now, we're going to move that over here in just a minute, but we're going to I'm just going to set that over there for now. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to take all of our switches and our paddle switches out. Okay. So now you're going to need two, two different sets of torques. We've got a security 20. And the security is the one that has the little hole at the end. And that's what's holding on the audio controls. So you're really just going to go ahead and take those loose. Just got two screws on each side here, or one screw on each side, I should say. Like that. that is here for the paddle shifters and that's a standard it's not a security security uh, screw at all it's just the torques all right so now that we've got our screws out we're going to go ahead and we're going to transfer our controls from one steering wheel to another okay and they will just slide right into the same slots 
Okay, and then the screws will line up. If they don't line up, then you don't have it in correctly. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put the other side in. Now you can see here, you wanna make sure that that lines up and that little tab gets back there behind there like that. Okay, and then, then put your screws in. There's that. Now we're going to switch over and we are going to move our paddle shifters. And we're going to use our 25, 25 torque. And we're going to take our paddle shifter from our left side here. And this little guy goes right up inside like that. Okay. Just like that. And got to get the screw out. And transfer it over over to here. All right. And then we're going to take our next screw here and our paddle shifter. Put our paddle shifter up inside here like so like that and we can start our screw now guys if you guys are fighting this if this is if it's feels like it isn't going together right it probably isn't so make sure you just double check yourself what you want it to look like is like this on this side here as well as this side here, and then just double check your movement of all of your switches. Everything works, should be nice and free and clear. There you go, like that. Okay, so now at that point, we've got to be able to tie our power in. So now we've got our wiring harness here, and we've got to be able to tie our red wire and our black wire into uh, from the steering wheel into the, uh, the harness of, this, of the uh, car. So what we're going to do is we're just going to skin this, this red wire back. Okay, I'm just going to skin it back so we can get, get some wire here exposed. Now there's also a blue wire on the steering wheel itself. You're not going to use that on the C7 application. Um, so don't worry about that. Now this is what I was talking about in the beginning of the, of the video. You don't have to, um, you kind of have to do this way I'm talking to be able to get power but you don't have to um, solder this um, if you don't want to but um, I'm just that type of person that I want to make sure that I get it soldered and I get a good connection otherwise you can just skin it back you could tape it and probably be just fine but this is how I do it All right, so there's your red wire. The black wire is your is your negative. Now that does that is only for the C7 guys. If if you guys are doing other up uh, other applications, um, you're gonna want to refer to the owner's manual um, or the in install sheet on how to install it because you don't want to make sure you want to make sure that you get the right the right power. Okay. So again, just take your time. You don't want to sever this wire. This is the internal power to the, the steering wheel. Okay. So then at that point, I'm going to bring the steering wheel over here, guys. Bring it over here. 
here so it's a little bit easier to see. And you can see that we've got all of our wires here, okay? So we don't, we've got our black wire and red wire. We're not gonna use the blue. We'll just tuck that away here in a minute, okay? But I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna clip these ends so I don't need them. All right, and then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna strip this back. Now, this wire, sometimes you can strip it with your fingers just like I did there. And sometimes you need a pair of strippers. So, let's see if I can do it that way. There we go. Just like that. Okay. Then at that point, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we are going to twist our red wire onto the red. Okay, just like that. We're just going to wrap it around the red wire. Just like so. Okay, and we're going to do the same thing with the black wire. Let's see if we can get this open here enough. And if you're doing this for yourself, it's much easier to see. I'm trying to keep my hands out of the way so you guys can see what I'm doing. A little twisted around. Now, if you were doing this with just wire and not solder, you would probably need to skin these wires back just a little bit farther and you'd have to strip these wires back a little farther also. Give yourself some room to twist. But because of what I'm doing and me soldering them, I don't need all that excess wire exposed. Now, if you have a regular uh, uh, soldering gun, great, go ahead and use that. I have a battery operated one that I use for portable use. And then you want to use a little bit of flux, flux solder. And you just wait till it gets warm enough there. And then you're just going to heat the wire up just a little bit. Like that. Okay. Get this up over here. Just like that. Solder is to that. Then at that point, we've already pre-cut a couple little pieces of square black tape. Now you could also use a heat shrink um, to be able to do this, and then you would have already put it on. Um, I didn't have any shrink wrap or heat shrink here, so I went ahead and I just I'm using tape. What we're going to do is we're going to come in at a corner here, just like on this edge, just like this. And what this will do is this allows it to get started in a small fashion, but it starts to make it bigger. And then it will get smaller as it finishes. So it keeps the ends nice and tight. And it will look better, even though you guys are not, nobody's ever going to see this. It'll look better and it will hold up better. Just like that. So we're going to do the same thing on this one. And there we go. So now we've got our wires connected. Now, at that point, we can start to put this harness back together. Instead of doing it where it was all down in there, we now we've had some room to work. So now what we can do is we can start to put this all back together. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to go here like this. 
Remember this little guy, we pulled this out of this hole. So we're gonna stick this little guy right back in it. And you'll see that there's a little slot right here for the wire to go. There we go. Just like that. And then you can see, this is gonna be where we plug our two controllers in here. We're gonna have this little guy. This one goes into, into the paddle shifter connector. This one, let's see, this one goes into here. This one goes into our, our audio controls. If I can get that to line up, there we go. Like that. Then we've got this one. It's going to go into our other paddle shifter. like that and then also this one's going to go into the other audio control which is our volume up and down just like that okay now we've got our our two pieces that we'll plug in on the main faceplate and we've got our main control plug in right here that goes into into the steering column and then we've got our two wires right here and this one is already capped, so there's really nothing that we have to do to it. It can just it can just stay in there. Not a big deal. Okay, just like that. The only thing that we have to put back now is we want to put this, we want to put a wire tie right up in here. Okay, so we're gonna go right through here like this. Hopefully you can see that. We're gonna come across the back side here. Like that. that bring that one up through the hole like that and then let's go ahead and tighten it down you want to make sure that it's routed the right way too. You make sure that it's up in the corner like that okay see how that's nice and tight down in there you can see that And we've got our we've got our plug right there like that, and then we want to go ahead and we be careful not to cut any of the other wires, but we want to cut off that excess wire tie. So now we are set to go. We've got everything ready to go back into the car. So we are now back in the car. We've got our uh, steering wheel wire. Now one thing I I did, but it didn't really point it out earlier, is that you want to make sure that you wrap your your wire here around this slot. Okay, same thing on this side. This makes sure that you're not going to get anything hung up here when you're trying to snap the airbag in place. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take our wires here and we're going to feed them through our hole. Okay, so we're going to feed those back through. Just like that. And those little guys are going to come through. And then that'll slide into place just like so. Then we're going to take our center plug here and we're going to go ahead and plug it in. And you'll hear it snap in place. So now we're connected. Okay. So now we've got our we've got our wire here, and we're going to take. Well, I guess the first thing we got to do here, guys, is we've got to put our bolt back in place. Okay. We'll tighten that up. So now we're set, right? Then at that point, we're going to go ahead and we're going to take our our connectors here, our connectors, and we're going to plug them in to our into our controls here. So we're going to go ahead 
One is going to be fairly easy because we're going to be able to just we're going to be able to reach in behind here. Let's see if I can make it so you guys can see that. Now these little guys are at an angle, so they can be kind of a pain. You don't want to, you don't want to force them, or they'll end up, you end up bending a pin or something like that. Just take your time. There we go. That's in. That's one. And we're going to take this one over here. This one you're going to have to kind of feel because you're not going to be able to really get it. Get your can't get the camera in there, guys. You can see it if you look forward up in there. You can see it. Might even be able to turn it like this a little bit. Get my elbow out of the way. But again, guys, don't use force. Just finesse it. And then at that point, you want to make sure that your wires are still tucked around the corner here. Okay. And then you can go ahead and you can snap your snap your faceplate onto the steering wheel. Just like that. Okay. So that's on there nice and tight. And then at that point, all we have here is we just got to put the airbag in place. Okay. Reach down here. I've got the airbag down here. Okay. Now, don't forget that you've got your you got your plug right here. That remember the one that we had in the rubber. That one actually is going to go and plug in right here, like so. Okay. And then remember, like I was saying, these are color coded, so it doesn't doesn't really matter. You're going to go ahead, yellow to yellow. See if I can get my hands out of the way so, so the camera can pick that up. Just like that, and then press down. Same thing with that one, and press down. So that's all connected. So then at that point, just take it. I can push the airbag back in place. little guy is tight just like that we've got the airbag back in we've got the steering wheel connected so now all we have left is that we just have to uh, install the uh, the smart box and it comes with a harness here so what we're going to do it's very self-explanatory you're just going to plug the gray to the gray plug and plug it in okay then you have an ODP2 in and out here, so this way you can still leave this all connected and in the event that they need to run diagnostics on your car, you still have that plug. So what we're going to do is on the C7, it's located right here, right there, okay? And hopefully John's camera's picking that up. We're going to go ahead and we're going to plug that little guy in. Just like that okay so now we're connected now the only thing else we have to do is we've got to mount this box underneath the dash here okay so what um, what you can do you've got various various ways of mounting this like I said you could use a screw you can use wire ties you can use the two side stick tape that I've already put on it um, and then just wire tie your wires up 
The one thing that you want to keep in mind is, is that this box needs to be able to be in proximity of the steering wheel. And if you bury this too far up in the dash, you will get communication errors. So, which means that your digital readout just isn't going to work. So, what you want to do is to try to get it where it's kind of, hopefully the camera's picking it up, but you want to get it up somewhere like this, somewhere in this area here, where it's not going to be in your way, okay? So this is this is the ideal thing. Now what we're going to do now, just for the sake of being able to show you this, is we're going to go ahead and we're going to leave this here right this second, where you can see it real easy. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to hook up the battery and we're going to go ahead and test start this, okay? So we're back here at the battery. We're going to go ahead and we're going to connect this. You may get a little bit of a spark, not much, but just a little bit. The car is probably going to start making a bunch of little noises. Uh, little things. It's going to be starting to turn on all the computers. So we're just going to tighten up our our battery connector here. Make sure that you don't over tighten it, but make sure you get it good and tight because you can have a lot of electronic connection issues if within the computer system in the car if you don't have a tight battery. Trust me, I know that. Okay, moving back up to the front of the car. So we've got the battery hooked back up, and we're going to go ahead and start it up for the first time and get the, the controller and the steering wheel married together. So you may not see any activity. You saw a first little blue light here. We've got a little bit of power here. Okay. Now, you may not have anything up on your steering wheel, and that's okay. So what you can do is you can go ahead and press your two buttons right here, press and hold them, and you should see the lights come on here in a second. It's like that, you release them, it's going through its boot up cycle, and then it's gonna go through its matching, and you'll see that it has a countdown, and it's joining itself to the main computer down below in the smart box. Starting to get activity on the on the smart box, and we've got connection now. At this point, you can see we've got 639 RPMs. We're going to go ahead and a little bit of gas. Okay, there we go. All right, so she's all connected up. So that's the only thing we have left is we've just got to mount the smart box. And I'm going to pull the two-sided stick tape. Okay, like this. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put my screw right here. And we're going to put it right there. Okay. Just like that. Okay. Now what we've got to do is we've got to tuck this little guy up inside the dash. And this will just, you literally can just tuck, move dash back just a little bit, and you can tuck it up, just like that, and out of the way. It, it will pinch it right there for you, so it's not going anywhere, okay? So then at that point, you're good, okay? So then at that point, we are complete, and now you can enjoy your new LED carbon fiber digital readout steering wheel. So guys, hopefully you found this video helpful and informative, and if you did, you'll know exactly where to get your steering wheel. You can get it from Extreme Online Store. I'm gonna put all of that information right here on the screen. Now, I am also a dealer for Extreme Online Store, so you can reach out to me and I'll be able to save you a little bit of money on that. So I'm going to put my information right here too. So um, if you guys have any questions at all, feel free to reach out to me. And you've got all of my information, but I'll put it up here. My email as well as my phone. You can call or text me and I'll try to answer all of your questions. Okay? They do have it for the C7 as well as the C8. And we'll, like I said, we'll be doing a C8 video here real soon. So you'll know exactly how to do that one. Okay. So guys, if you guys have not already subscribed to the channel, 
please hit that subscribe button and hit that little bell so you'll be alerted of all of our next uploads. And it, like I said, it just helps our channel grow and get bigger and it helps with the algorithms. So uh, if you guys haven't already, please do that. Those of you that already have, thank you so much for doing it because it is, we are growing, we're growing all the time. So I just want to thank you guys, okay? So anyway, uh, enough of that. But uh, if you guys enjoy the video today, please hit that thumbs up. I'd appreciate it. And I'll catch you guys on the next video. with their nails done now.